Well, Trucker Todd here, and not coming to you from the best of circumstances this time. So I picked up a load last night in Livermore, California. It's going north to Seattle. I uh, kept driving, driving, looking for a cat scale. Uh, went past one scale that was closed, crossed that toll bridge, um, and then came up uh, on another scale on 80. And uh, I got a green light at that scale, drove through it, everything was fine. So I decided, oh, I'm not going to cat scale it because I just went through this scale, everything's fine. So I get up here to Cottonwood, California, and uh, go through the first part of it. And even the people inside said, yeah, on the first part of it, it said it was fine. But when we brought you across the static scale, it shows that you're 37,000 on your trailer axle. Good news is we're not going to write you a ticket. Bad news is you can't leave till it's reworked. In 23 years of driving, I've never been through this. Uh, of course, I've had loads that's overweight. I had one in Missouri one time that I picked up a load, and right when I pulled out of the scale, less than a mile away, there was a, a way station, and I got like a $400 overweight ticket. So I called uh, night dispatch, and they did the normal night dispatch thing. You should have checked the app for a cat scale. You should have done this. You should have done that. Play an armchair quarterback. I said, I've got the app. I know what you're talking about. I've got a GPS that also tells me where all the cat scales was. There wasn't one on my route. Well, we show where there's 31, there's one 30 miles away. Well, there probably is south of town going the wrong direction or something. And if you drive 30 miles there and 30 miles back, that's 60 miles out of route. So, granted, uh, even though I went through the scale and got a green light, I probably should, still should have cat scaled it. But I didn't. It is what it is. That's what I told them. Well, we're past that now. We've got to get it reworked before I can leave here. So they said, well, call and see who you can get. I found a guy. He said uh, that he can do it in about three hours. Uh, of course, it'll probably take him another three hours when he gets here. And uh, he said it'll be between eight and $1,200, which... They said I'll have to pay, which I expected that. That's not really a shock. Uh, these kind of things are always the driver's fault. Um, the load is definitely false on the weight. They say 38,000, and it's got to be more than that if it's 37 on the trailer and 26 on the drives. But either way, I knew from being an experienced driver that you can't go by the weights that are provided that I still should have checked it. It's a dumb mistake and it's going to turn out to be a costly one. So I'm a little discouraged right now. If you're going to put something negative down below, uh, please don't. Uh, I'm doing a pretty good job of being tore up about this on my own. So learn from the donkey as one of my old bosses used to say. Um, and hopefully this will never happen to you. Like I said, in 23 years of driving, I've had a couple overweight loads, but I've never had it this severe. And, uh, like I said, normally in most states, you can just slide your wheels and go on down the highway. I was able to get it. She, she kind of changed her story. The DOT lady, she said, even if you're over length, if you can get it legal, I'll let you go. Well, I slid the wheels and got it legal, and she's like, no, I mean, if you could slide it like one hole. And I was like, well, I shouldn't even have tried because I knew I couldn't do that. But anyway, the guy, the guy that's coming to move it around, he's like, yeah, just try to sleep till I get there. And I'm in my mind saying, I won't be able to sleep. This is, you know, I've already had a rough go of things, and then this is just one more setback. So anyway... I hope everybody else is having a great weekend, and hopefully the next video will be a little more upbeat, and have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.